Hey everybody, I'm Jimmy. Welcome to Try This at Home. Today, we're playing with our food. Chemical indicators are used to test for the presence of an acid or a base. Uh, this whole thing is kind of known as testing for pH. Today, we're going to make our very own pH testing kit using only stuff you find on a trip to your grocer's produce aisle. Red cabbage is filled with all these different types of pigments that have the properties of chemical indicators. This bright red pigment that you see here does some pretty amazing things when subjected to different chemicals. So first off, let's find out what a chemical indicator really does. Taking a look right over here, we have this universal indicator. When I add it to just pure water, it turns the whole solution really bright green. Look at that. It's a really deep greenish emerald color. Now, if you subject this to something like a base, like ammonia, it'll turn the whole thing See that? Kind of a deeper blue color. Now, when you add acid to this, it changes this chemical solution and begins to change those colors. Those colors give us an indication. It's a color indicator. So I'm going to add some dry ice to this case. A few little pieces of dry ice in there. We'll produce some carbonic acid. And you can start to see the color change happen almost immediately. As more carbonic acid is getting released into that fluid, it's changing its color from that green to yellow through orange and then eventually up to red. By the way, right now there's some serious science going on. Now to make this experiment work, you want to find a piece of cabbage that has a lot of that really red pigment in it. So we kept pulling pieces off. Now take a look. You can see right here, the pigment layer is only at the very top. It's just under the surface there, so that's all we're really looking for. Now you can see it's very bright pink when it gives it that red cabbage color. Now here's one that we've had sitting in a very strong base for a few minutes now. Look at the difference. Being exposed to that base has turned our red cabbage blue. Pretty cool, huh? So now, we'll take this cabbage, we'll get it chopped up, And for best results, get an adult to help you chop up the cabbage before you put it into the warm water bath. Or if you can't chop the cabbage yourself, just get a jar of freshly chopped cabbage at any grocery store. We put our chopped cabbage into the frying pan here on a very, very low heat. We're not trying to cook it, but we just want some of that red pigment to come out of the leaf and into our fluid, so that way we can use it for our chemical testing. All right, so now we'll pour off the juice. There we go. And the rest we can throw away. So now we've got all of our cabbage juice that has those same indicator properties. You could just listen to me tell you that, or we could try it out. Let's try again. First, with some of our ammonia. Okay, so we'll take our ammonia here. We'll just add a couple of drops. Look at that. It turns that same, it's turning that same deep blue color like we saw before. The cabbage juice indicator works. Now, let's try it with some acid. Our acid in this case, we're using some white distilled vinegar. But you could also use lemon juice or pretty much anything that tastes kind of sour. All those, that sour taste comes from acids. Take some of our vinegar, some of our acetic acid, and voila! Look at that, a little bit brighter red than before. So this indicator will work really well to test for the presence of bases. Now where do we find bases? Well, a lot of times when we use them around the house, they're found in things like soap, milk, and uh, other things that are kind of soapy or kind of feel a little bit bubbly. So you can test this around your house Test it with some bath water, test it with the tap water. Um, but you've now got the makings of your very own pH chemical indicator kit. Try this at home.